Okay, the next role where we're having speeches from the candidates is for the Vice President of the Lansdowne Campus. Your first candidate to speak for VP Lansdowne is Sophie Chase Grubb. Hello guys, I'm your current VP Lansdowne, my name is Sophie Chase Grubb. Um, I've already made loads of improvements to um, social spaces and stuff like that at Lansdowne and I've also been involved with that sort of thing up here too. So I just want to tell you why it's important for Talbot students to vote for the Lansdowne position because I know it seems a little bit detached. But I sit on meetings that represent all students, so it's not just the Lansdowne students and some decisions that are made in these meetings affect every single student. Um, I've already got a good relationship with the university staff and believe that this role needs the continuity because it's quite new. So, re-elect Sophie Chetsgrove for VP Lansdowne. Thank you very much. The next candidate to speak for this position is Ash Sabs. Hi, um, I'm running for VP Lansdowne as well. Um, the reasons why I feel that I should be in the position <laughs> is because okay, um, I was a student rep in my second year. Uh, furthermore, I've started at both campuses. I'm doing my final year or my top-up course here. From being here, I've realised that there's a, uh, there's a gap in the quality of uh, facilities and opportunities, and I really want to make a change at Lansdowne. From speaking to students who are currently at Lansdowne, they've stressed about the issues of the library not being big enough and not uh, enough computers. Furthermore, not having an area to hang out in their spare time like we have Dylan's here. If I was brought in, I'd really want to make a change. Thank you very much. for the Lansdowne position, Francesca Savvy. She can't make it today, but she has sent some words for me to read for you. Being a Lansdowne student and school rep has given me insight of what you want. As VP of Lansdowne, I will bring educational events such as the careers fair related to our courses to the campus. I want to build a stronger connection between Talbot and Lansdowne so that the students know what and when things are happening at the university. My dedication and hard-working attitude will allow me to ensure that the Union will have a bigger presence in Lansdowne and I will push for clubs and sports classes to take place on our campus. I will meet with student reps to listen to all your matters and be your voice and ambassador. I'm approachable and will build positive relationships with all students by having a more ground floor presence. Lansdowne campus is home to many international and mature students so I will help them to, to get adequate support so in the end you will all be related to matters such as bursaries, placements and international support to facilitate their journey in getting the best education possible. I will make it a priority to also promote the experience of the students studying in Lansdowne for a year only. Thanks. <laughs> okay, have we got any questions from the floor? Yeah, Matt. Run on over. Okay, so the first question is how will you improve the integration of Lansdowne and Talbot students? And we'll start that question with Sophie Chaserbrook. <laughs> Um, I've already started working on this this year, so I've made it possible for things that happen up here for students to happen down there. So you can sign up to clubs and societies down there now. This obviously affects students in halls and stuff who may be studying at either campus. I'm also working on sports facilities at the Lansdowne, which means that if you study up here and you live close to Lansdowne, you'll be able to use the gym facilities down there. Um, Thanks. And that question now goes to Ash, would you like me to repeat it? Yeah. How will you improve the integration of Lansdowne and Talbot students? Um, the way that I would like to do this is uh, by giving people at Lansdowne more of a voice so they can express their opinions about 
uh, issues up at Talbot as well because everyone's a Bournemouth University student. Um, people at Lansdowne use the gym here, the library here, but at the moment maybe they feel like they can't because this isn't their campus that they study on. Um, so I'd really like to make the communication between uh, the both campuses a lot better and give people at Lansdowne who are studying there um, the encouragement to come here and to uh, check out the facilities and opportunities. Thank you. Okay, so we've got another question here. How will you improve the experience for all students at Lansdowne, including Bournemouth and Port College, Lansdowne and EBC students? So we'll start with Ash, back up again. Um, well, I used to study at Bournemouth and Paul College for two years and uh, I didn't have the greatest time because the facilities weren't that great and from speaking to people in my class they stressed about maybe having one day a week at the, at the uh, Talbot or at the Lansdowne University, uh, having more opportunities to go up there and that is what I remember from the question, so I'm going to share. And thank you and both for Ash. <laughs> How will you improve the experience for all students at Lansdowne, including Bournemouth and Paul College, Lansdowne and the EBC students? Okay, so I think part of the issue here is support for these students. They see this campus up here and it's always buzzing and there's always things going on, but they don't think they have that down there when there are actually quite a lot of facilities available to them. There's always things that we can work on, but going out and speaking to students and actually finding out what they want rather than presuming I know what they want or presuming that because they're at this campus they're not happy, etc, etc. So improving support facilities for these students and just listening to what they have to say. Thank you.